That is the Canon G7X3. And these are the things that are gonna turn it into a perfect vlog camera. So if you watch this channel at all, you know that I'm a huge fan of small cameras. I think they're way less invasive. I love them for parties. But what about vlogging and video? Where do small cameras come into that? Because it would be so much more convenient if I didn't have to lug around this big camera kit, vlog kit, everywhere I went just to make videos. So we're gonna find out is the Canon G7X3 the perfect vlogging camera. And we're actually gonna try and film the rest of this video on this camera, starting in three, two, one. Here we are filming on the G7X3 on vlog mode. Let me just set this down. And we're shooting in vlog mode and that just means that the camera nails the exposure for you and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, it'll adjust if you go inside and outside and it'll take care of the shutter angle and all that fancy nonsense that you don't wanna worry about because you just wanna worry about telling a good story in your vlog. So let me know in the comments what you think of the G7X footage so far. This is 4K 25 frames per second vlogging. Now one of the first things I noticed about this camera is the amount of features packed into it. The stabilization, microphone ports, 4K video, really good photo settings, manual video settings. It's got, you know, for 700 quid, it's got a lot going on and a tiny little payload which fits in your pocket. And then the second thing I love is the build quality. It's like a metal and rubbery, leathery, plasticky build. It feels like a real camera, even though it's tiny. Um, and once you've got an L bracket on it, it just feels solid. So I really like carrying this camera around. It's a cool piece of kit. It feels great in the hands. And it's even got a little hand grip on the side there. But how well does it perform? Well, let's get a little B-roll clip out of this bad boy and see what we're dealing with. Now my setup for the camera is to stick it on a small rig tripod because I don't like the Canon tripod that comes with it. A Rode Wireless Go microphone clipped onto the side of a newer metal uh, L bracket so that I can mount microphones on the side because even though it's got a microphone port, there's nowhere to mount a small microphone, okay? So you need some kind of L bracket to get a microphone on there. So that's what I've done and I'm actually just hand holding the Rode Wireless Go right now. So I hope it doesn't sound too bad. I'm sure it sounds absolutely fine. I've also taken this camera for a walk around London and to be honest, the shots that come out of it, they're not DSLR level, but they're pretty good and they're definitely better than like an iPhone or a GoPro. And I really think like, if you're not a pro level shooter, do you need to spend any more money on a camera than the G7X3? Because, you know, the success of a video is not in how crisp the footage is, it is in the story. And I really think that we could all learn a little lesson from this camera and that is you need gear, for sure gear is important, but how much gear do you need versus how much practice do you need making videos and taking photos? Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful and if it has, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because that's the whole point. Oh look, it's gone so dark.